Ian Ortavia, Dodger Media. So you guys opened up with Mount Olive, but it didn't go as planned. Could you, uh, could you tell me some takeaways from the games? Um, I don't know. I mean, it was a tough game. It definitely didn't reflect uh, what we think the team can achieve. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's tough to say, but. I think it's important to just keep going. I think the main takeaway is we don't let our losses bring us too too low and we're just looking to the next game to to perform. I got something as well. Uh, it's always tough starting with a school that's bigger than yours, uh, especially because we were supposed to open with Mountain Lakes uh, as a conference game and that got canceled due to the heat. So having to open with them, long bus ride, it was tough for us. But like Mariano said, we're certainly a better team than what we showed that game. Uh, and we're hoping to turn around coming into the rest of the season. For me, I think team chemistry is a big thing. And despite having lost like 16, 17 seniors, I think that our team chemistry has been amazing so far. And I think each game we're going to build it more and more. So I think... Farther, se farther in the season we go, I think it'll be good. I'm, um, I'm Luke. Um, so, uh, Hanford Park tomorrow. It's a big game. You haven't played them in a while. So, is that play like a role in preparing um, in the game? Uh, I mean, yeah, Hanover Park is obviously one of our school's largest rivals. Um, you know, we were watching film today uh, before practice to prepare for that game. Uh, it should be a, I mean, we're going to work hard in practice, try to help or try to fix our mistakes in the last game to try to prepare. And I mean, obviously the ultimate goal is to win. Um, so we're looking forward to that game. Ethan, uh, this year you have a lot of young players with only two people coming back from last year's starting roster. Uh, do you believe the younger can, uh, people can step up and uh, rise to the challenge? And how exactly are you leading them into that? Uh, yeah, I think the younger people, the younger players, have shown a lot of quality, a lot of potential too. And I think our role as leaders, as seniors, is to guide them with the experiences that we have gone through. Uh, obviously, as older players, we have played more and just in, we have more experience in the game. I think we our responsibility is to give that experience to the younger players so they can shine with their quality and the potential that they have. For me, I think a common trend with all the teams we've been playing is the young talent that starts to take over. I think especially with our team, if we keep our older players setting, uh, like taking a role model and showing showing the younger players like what they can do and to build that confidence through our games, I think that will lead us to dominate our future games. Uh, so, Jake, last year you were swinging between JV and varsity, and this year you are captain. Um, how do you feel about that? I'm really happy that I took the captain position. I feel like like being a swing man of a JV and varsity player like, doesn't really show my true potential. I think I really like found my calling, per se, uh, being a captain, and I'm so happy that I could be able to lead the younger kids. Um, in, in what, in the last game, uh, in practice, um, has that so, um, been like a, you know, like a big thing for you now and has that like affected you in any way at all? Um, yeah, I, I haven't been able to play in the first two games of the season. Um, but I think our backup has been a, uh, a, a sound, a sound replacement, but, uh, I'm hoping to, uh, to come back and start for HB tomorrow. Um, uh, and hopefully we can, uh. We can get that first win that we uh, we're looking forward to. Have you tried to teach any of your 
Um, yeah, I think, I mean, it's tough. He, he didn't he didn't know to, uh, he was starting in that first game until probably a few hours before maybe. Um, so, you know, I, I just told him to stay calm. He, he practices, he's, he's a solid goaltender. Uh, there's nothing he should be nervous about and nothing, there was nothing he was. He wasn't afraid of anything. Um, so I, I think he's done a good job of taking that role. All right, thank you, that'll be all.